Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at some more examples of matrix multiplication. So let's start with this example here. Whenever we want to attempt a matrix multiplication, the first thing that we need to check is whether or not it is possible with the given matrices. So we do that by checking out the dimensions. Dimensions for a matrix come from their number of rows and their number of columns. So for our first matrix here, we have one, two rows by one, two columns. So our first matrix is a two by two. We are trying to multiply that with the second matrix that has one, two rows by one, two, three columns. So we have a two by three in the second matrix. We know that we can perform matrix multiplication if these two inner dimensions match. Since we have a two and a two, then this matrix multiplication is possible. To figure out the dimensions of our result, we look to the outer dimensions here. So since we have two and three, our result will be a matrix with one, two rows and three columns. I'm going to go ahead and set up a matrix with two rows and three columns and be sure to give myself lots and lots of space so that I can show my work. Now when we perform matrix multiplication, we distribute the rows of the first matrix into the columns of the second matrix. So for our entry that will be here in row one, column one, we're going to distribute the first row of the matrix on the left into the first column of the matrix on the right. So here we'll have negative three times six plus five times zero, or negative 18 plus zero. So I can write that result, negative 18, down here in my answer matrix of row one, column one. Now we continue working along the top row or the first row here we're going to now take row one and distribute it to column two that's going to give us negative three times negative two plus five times one or six plus five is eleven finishing up that top row we're going to once again take the first row and now distribute it to the third column. So we'll have negative three times zero plus five times negative five, or zero plus negative 25 is negative 25. Now that we have finished the entire first row, we're going to move on to the second row of the first matrix. So now we're going to repeat that process with each column, but now we're distributing the second row. So we have row two times column one, row two, column one spot. That's going to be negative two times six plus one times zero, or negative 12 plus zero. So we have negative 12 here. Continuing, I have row two times column two. That gives me negative two times negative two plus one times one, or four plus one is five. And finally, we have row two times column three. So we have negative two times zero plus one times negative five, or zero plus negative five. All right, let's check out this next example, perform the multiplication if possible. So as always, we start by checking out the dimensions. So our dimensions for our first matrix, we have two rows by three columns, two by three times, here we have in our second matrix, we have two rows by two columns. In order for matrix multiplication to be possible, we check on these two inner dimensions and make sure that they match. Here, they do not. Three and two do not match, which means that this matrix multiplication 
is not possible. If you ever forget to check, you can kind of see that from the very first time you start to try this. If you start to distribute your first row into your first column, notice you don't have enough values here in your column to work with all the values in your row. Okay, so it doesn't work. It's not possible. Of course, we know how to do this by hand and we can certainly do that, but the calculator can do it as well and that can help you check your work to make sure you didn't make any small errors. So let's take a look at this 0 2 negative 2 5 times 6 negative 6 3 0 that we did in our introduction to matrix multiplication video in the calculator. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to enter each matrix separately. So I'm going to enter this matrix in matrix A and this one in matrix B. So if I enter into my matrix menu, I've actually already got them in there, but just as a reminder of the process, you're going to step over to the edit menu. You would enter into wherever you want to put your matrix, give the calculator the dimensions. In this case, matrix A is a two by two matrix, and then type in your values. I did the same thing for matrix B, and now I'm ready to multiply. To do that, I'm going to bring these matrices onto my home screen. So in my matrix menu, under the Names tab, I'm going to hit Enter to bring up matrix A. I'm going to hit my multiplication symbol, and then repeat that process to grab matrix B. So now I have on my home screen A times B. When I hit enter, I see the same result that we got by hand, 6, 0, 3, 12. Okay, so even though we must know how to do this by hand, it's an important skill, we can definitely use our calculator to check. For this next one, this was the one we just looked at. We saw that we had a 2 by 3 times a 2 by 2. Since our inner dimensions did not match, this was not a possible matrix multiplication. If you enter these matrices in, let's say you put this one in matrix A and this one in matrix B, and then you repeat the process we just had, this is the screen that you will see. It tells you there's an error, your dimensions are a mismatch. When you see that, you know your matrix multiplication was not possible and your calculator is just verifying that for you. All right, guys, that does it for this video on matrix multiplication. Until next time, we'll see you in a future one.